What's up guys, welcome to part 3. Um, unfortunately this has to be in part. Yeah, I'm sorry for memory issues, but... Man, it's dark in here. Anyway, um, this is my other Master Sword. Probably, I don't know which one I like better. That one, or this one. I don't know. This one comes with the Master Sword, obviously, in a the scabbard. This is, um, the... More, it's like an Ocarina of Time one. But it's kind of like Twilight Princess too. But I'm gonna say Ocarina of Time ones. Anyway, it comes with the scabbard. It does not. Me and I actually put this. Me and my dad rigged this together because I was linked for Halloween one year. So, yeah, that's why it has this. Uh, you can actually buy one of these online, a frog for it. But it, I mean, the ones you can buy online are better than the one me and my dad rigged together. But you know, you know, nothing beats cheap. Here's what it looks like out of the scabbard. Hold on, let me take it out. Alright, sorry for the wait, here you go, here it is, um, it has the Triforce laser engraved on it, and this one you can swing around, it's actually pretty good, I really like it because you can play with it a little bit, it's, um, uh, slight, it's most, it's blunt, except for the ends pointy, you could stab somebody with that, but, yeah, I really like this sword, so, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I have one more thing. This, uh, this obviously is not from any Zelda game. Um, but I really wanted, um, to get something that resembled the Kokiri Sword from Ocarina of Time. This is as close as I could find. It's pixelated, and the gems are on color, but if you think of it, it's the Kokiri Sword were pixelated. It would look something like this, except for the gems are wrong color and stuff, but kind of, oh, that's duct tape. Uh, because it, it's called... I mean, the tang started coming out of it, but, yeah. But the Kokiri sword, if it was pixelated, looked something like this, so that's why I have it. I actually, you might have seen this in other videos, but I actually hang it right here by the door, so, yeah. There's the Triforce here, so. Anyway, guys. Oh, wait. I actually have something else to show you. I, I can't, I'm so glad I remembered that. Man, I'm losing stuff all through this video. I am sorry for that. Here we go. Like, the coolest, no, not the coolest, but one of the really cool thing, The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Astoria. It has, like, art from Zelda games. I've read through it a bunch of times. It's got um, stuff about each game. It's got a lot about Skyward Sword, the timeline. The Regin begins. These are really cool pictures. Yeah, it's a really cool book. I really like it. It's expensive, too. I'm not going to say well, I got it for $35. It's just really expensive. But yeah, it's really neat. I like it. Uh, I can't... This video can't be much longer. It can't be 30 seconds long. Just going to have to off a minute. But yeah, it's got a bunch about the Zelda games. Um, yeah, like early concept art depictions. Hold on, I'm going to show you. It's got, like, some enemy designs. There's Skull Kid. Yeah, so, well, guys, that's my Zelda collection. I hope you enjoyed, because I enjoyed making this video. These videos, I mean. So, yeah, guys, that's it, and catch you all later. Bye.